This is the KC8 Vienna room, pollinated by Pelora pollen. That's the one I, I was thinking to propagate to see what uh, the offspring look like. Because KC Vienna room is the uh, diploid, and the Pelora is the tetraploid. The F1, the seedlings from this one, should be triploid. I don't know if they will even have seeds. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll take a look how it looks like. I'll, I'll, I'll wait it first. He's only three ounces. Very small. It, it is smaller from the other fruit pollinated with other diploid pollens. Let's see if they even have a seeds. Okay, they do have some seeds. It's much less seeds than normal. So we'll, we'll see how it tastes like first. Mm. Just like a Cassie Vanna root, it's very sweet and it uh, has a very strong um, floral taste to it. Very like a, people say it's like a coconut uh, taste. Yeah, it's definitely have that. Let's see, let's calibrate. Okay, it's zero. It's pretty juicy. It's only 17. Well, it tastes pretty good. Human mouths can really tell the, the sugar content. Sometimes it's very sweet, tastes like a not sweet at all. Sometimes it not taste at all and it have a high number. So uh, we'll see. I'm going to plant these seeds. I'm going to take the seeds out. I took some of the seeds out of the fruit. You can see the majority of seeds are floating. Very few are, th those are the ones that pick up is not floating. Very few. Majority of the seas are floating means that they have some air inside the seas. Because these are all triploid, I don't know what they're supposed to behave. So I took some uh, sugar dragon seas. And you can see they are also floating too, but the, this is a not floating one from the drag sugar dragon. I'm going to separate them, put them in the, in the uh, soil, we will see how it goes. After dry the seeds on the paper towel for two days, I plant the seeds here. So you can see that the, I planted on July 16th. Today is uh, August 4th. It's almost, almost 20 days. So anything that the didn't come out, may not be come out anymore. So I'm going to give a, a report on the result of the germination of the seedlings. And um, here I have um, Cassie Van Arun fruit. Is the the seeds is a triploid, and uh, the, this one is the the four seeds that sink to the bottom of the water. I planted here, and here is the floating seeds. And I put 20 seeds here, and then the rest of them are all in here. Will be around 80 or 90 seeds, all in this little well. And as a control, I have the sugar dragon seeds uh, right next to it. So the first one is uh, the f I put four synced seeds in here, and here is the 20 floating seeds in here, and because it's a um, control, I didn't put anything on the bottom. So you can see the control first. See, four seeds have three of them come out. So the germination rate is uh, around 75%. It's very high. And uh, for the 20 floating seeds, you can see they have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Have six seeds coming out from 20. 
So it's still around 30%. The germination rate is um, kind of a normal. But look at the triploid. For the four sinks, nothing come out here. None. This is all just the. Uh, this is all just the weeds. And from the 20 floating seeds, I have one growing up here, but it was eaten by some snail or, or some, some gangsters. So 20 seeds, only have one growing. And from here, 80 seeds, I only have two coming out. So the germination rate is, uh, should be around 3%. It's a much, much lower than the normal diploid seedlings. You can see that the germination is much lower, which is a kind of expected because on the very complicated um, formation of the triploids, the seed's viability is reduced. But it says that triploids sometimes give you a surprise result. They could be very big fruit or some kind of um, disease resistant. So I'm going to just uh, continue keep eye on these two. When they're big enough to for grafting, I, I'll update on the, the grafting of these seeds. But um, after all, this this particular triploid is a uh, is a surprise. I did at the time that the Cassie Mana root flower was opening. I don't have any other pollen to pollinate it. So I just uh, used um, the one I have on hand, which is um, Polaris uh, pollen to pollinate it. And I was surprised the form fruit and have some seeds. But when you plan for the hybrid, it should plan something better because Polora and Cassie Vanna room both are already pretty sweet. And um, I want to have some um, maybe bigger fruit or rare fruit for, for the for the seedlings which combine the feature with the plora. So the ideal hybridization should be using plora's pollen to pollinate big red fruit like um, physical graffiti or American beauty. I have two flowers that opened uh, a couple of days ago. This is uh, from um, physical graffiti and these both these two are pollinated by uh, the stored polora pollen. So hopefully these two can survive so we can have a real tetraploid pollen pollinated uh, diploid flower to create um, some interesting triploid offspring. So stay tuned, I'll update for all this um, progress. Thank you for watching.